here we have Minister of Home Affairs. Yeah, basically the fire is contained. Uh, it was restricted to an area of uh, what's it called a gear room. So the gears repairs, tackling, rubber hoses and so on which were a fire. It has been, uh, they were removing that apparently. They were working at that area yesterday. And for whatever reasons yet to be determined, there, there, there was a fire. I guess about the 20 or 30. Uh, so it is contained, restricted just to that building. Every other facility is safe and uh, under control at the moment. Yes, uh, that is of concern because we did meet with the executives of the company, I think on Wednesday of last week, and we, we discussed the after action report for that fire, the previous one, and uh, we spoke to the executives and board members about the need for them to do the requisite things to ensure that uh, there is capability and strong dealing with fire at the premises, which are required by the laws. Uh, so that was discussed. Uh, they are the top to do their reviews. In fact, I just heard that the board of this company met yesterday and they were going to do a walkthrough in respect of putting in more fire capability, fire suppression capability on the premises. So they were actually reviewing the issue uh, actively over the last few days. But yes, it's of concern. And what is of concern is that the uh, the message doesn't seem to be getting through to businesses and other places that um, where the police? Where is the police? Can y'all move away from here? Y'all go away from here. Since you can't stay quiet, move away. You own the road, boss. Yeah, you and me own it. Yeah. Yes, sir. The message, we perhaps have to work harder at um, getting the message across in spite of the fact that we've had serious fires of recent. All right. What is your word of advice at this um, point in time, given the two fires in close proximity? To, uh, well, I on can only works. repeat the, what is in front of us, what is happening fairly regularly now. The fact that we have to pay more attention to issues relating to fire safety and to protecting the personal property, private builders, builders businesses, and also public buildings. It is of concern, not only the loss of the buildings, but loss of life too. Uh, so the fire service has been working hard at it, but we've got to do more from it. Are you pleased with the response? Um, yes, they've the done quite well this time. They've been quite good this time, actually. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You just heard there from Minister of Home Affairs, Mr. Robson Ben, as he exited the compound here at the Guyana National Shipping Corporation Limited, where there was a fire that broke out at around about 8, 8.30 this morning and was responded to in timely fashion by the Guyana Fire Service. Of course, it was reported that this fire started in a gear room and it was contained to that room. There haven't been any reports of injuries, major injuries here at the GNSC wharf. And there haven't been any reports of other buildings or other equipment or other things being damaged here this morning. Of course, iNews will continue to bring you more information on the causes of this fire and the determinations of the Guyana Fire Service. So far, the... Open up, open up. So far, the fire service is still conducting their investigations here on the ground. And as soon as that information becomes readily available to us, we will make it available to you, our viewers of iNews. 
and that information will be made available to you either on our website or right here on our Facebook page so you can see the fire service just you know probably wrapping up their investigations and their work here there is no smoke um, being seen anymore here so that is a testament to the work that they have been able to do here on a bright Sunday morning of course you would be unable to see the exact location right now as the media cannot go into or re-enter the compound of the GNSC however um, if we are able to do so probably within the next few minutes within the next hour we will give you a look at the aftermath of this fire here at the GNSC wharf so stay tuned remember to stay peeled um, keep a close eye on our Facebook page and our website and we will continue to bring you information on this fire here this morning at the GNSC wharf